Today was the final day of the New York State Fair, and folks from all across the state have gathered to enjoy the festivities. But for Rochester locals, there's one concession stand in particular you may be able to visit on a more regular basis now that the fair is over. Mackenzie Mislin has this story for us. People come from all over the state to enjoy the music, the rides, and the food. One local Spencerport family-owned business is bringing their concession and sharing all the food at various locations. Local vendor Nancy's Fried Dough and Concessions have five stands throughout the New York State Fair with food ranging from Philly cheesesteaks to lemonade to fried dough. Co-owner Chris Bagnato says it's a family tradition. We started about 45 years ago. Um, it started with my father who was um, sick with kidney disease. He had a recipe for fried dough. He met someone in the carnival business and said, hey, let's go do some fried dough at the festivals and see what happens. And lo and behold, 45 years later, we're still here. And it's enough to keep them coming back year after year. It's wonderful. I've been here for years since I was a little kid. Um, so I love it. It's like my second home to me. Um, 13 days is a long day for a lot of people. It's a lot of hours, heat, but everyone is family here, so we all get along. It's wonderful to be here. And for fairgoers like Ethan Rosen and Ciari Smith, fair food is a big deal. They appreciate the vendors that come back from across the state and share their food. This is a blooming onion. It's probably one of my favorite fair foods, and I'm definitely going around trying as many different foods as I can because I'm giving myself this one day to kind of let loose and eat as much as I can, so it's great. You know, I get the fried dough from Villa, you got the um, hot beef sundae from the Burn Dairy Building, my Uncle Ed on the grill, um, the corn. And as the fair season comes to an end, you'll want to look for Nancy's around our own hometown in Rochester. Their next event starts next month. Reporting in Syracuse, Mackenzie Mislin, News 8.